So as a content creator, is it okay to ramble on YouTube? Yes. Should you ramble in your videos? Probably not. So, um, in case you don't know, I am an authority on rambling. It's been pointed out to me on numerous occasions, and I'm totally cool with it because it's the way that I verbally communicate. It is part of my structure and my content strategy, but it's not for everyone. And if you watch, if you watch this video, it probably only is appealing to a small percentage of people that come across my channel. That said, should you ramble on your videos in your videos? And is it detrimental to your YouTube channel growth? Yeah, it is totally is. If you, so I break it down like this, right? If you are a, if you're focused on growing a YouTube channel, the fastest way to do so is to niche down and to provide certain high value information to your viewers in a clear and concise manner. And by doing so, you will be discovered much more quickly via search. Most likely, um, people will appreciate that who are searching for that information and subscribe to your channel for more information along that lines, along those lines, you will get many more views you will get much more longer audience retention and you'll get more subs and you'll probably monetize relatively quickly. And in those situations, in my experience, because I've had channels like that, <sighs> viewers do not appreciate rambling. And it's because in my opinion, they are basically using you for the information in your head and don't actually care about you as a person. They have come to your videos to learn something specific or to, you know, understand or, um, figure out something that they don't know how to do specifically that you have niche down and only talk about and, and they don't really care about you, your well-being, your life, other facets of you and your interest and personality that are not on display because you're super niched. I'm not saying all of them won't care. There is definitely a small percentage of your viewership that will be invested as, into you as a person, but the majority I have found are there for information that you provide. And if you don't provide it to them, in the package that they are accustomed to receiving that information, then, um, yeah, they'll let you know in the comments. Don't worry. Conversely, the other way to grow a YouTube channel is to make it centered around you. And that's significantly more difficult because first of all, you got to make other people you don't know, care about you as a person. And I think in general, we're good people, but it's hard to just care about a random person you don't know. And so you have to wrap it up in a story or have some kind of meaningful journey that you're on that you want to take viewers on with you. And when you do this, it is from experience, really effing hard. It's a slow grind. You are gathering super fans here and there based on any video you make. And the majority of people that come across your content, it won't resonate with them because I think a, a lot of viewers on YouTube are conditioned to get that, that information, that dopamine hit, whatever they want quickly, and then they move on. And there are a minority of people that want to get to know their creator, want to hang out, want to have a different meaningful experience, but they're a much smaller demographic on the overall YouTube sphere. And so it takes a long time to reach those people. And if you're watching this, it's taken me forever to reach you. It is what 
day 260 something and you and I might have just met last week, last month. Certainly not when I started this journey, which was January 1 of 2024. But you're here now. And it's, it's because we are invested in each other as people. And we're valuing human connection, not the exchange of information. And so we have a different kind of viewing and, and YouTube experience that isn't, dare I say, selfish and much more, much more mutual. <laughs> I know you and you know me and we have conversations and we hang out every single day. And those are the people that are much more receptive to your ramblings because, because they know you, because they know what your communication style is like. They know what you're all about. They know that you provide insight through, through having that kind of discussion or conversation that that's how we discover things about ourselves. And that's ultimately, in my opinion, way more rewarding an experience than in this video, I'm going to teach you how to unclog your toilet, but that's just me. And I was watching a video today by Tony. He is, he just found my channel, maybe like a week ago. I'll drop his channel down in, in the description so you can check him out. And he made a video today where he rambled on about a myriad of different things. And I watched the entire video. Why? Because I like Tony as a person, because I find him to be entertaining and an interesting character person. Uh, he has an interesting story and I'm cool with whatever he says of just hanging out with him every day or however often he wants to upload. And I'd like to think that those kinds of communities that you build, those kinds of channels, the viewership of those, the subscribers of those channels are weighted differently than the subscribers that go to educational channels purely for some piece of information. Because on those educational channels, you could talk about a variety of different topics within your niche and some of those subscribers will only watch certain pieces of content. Whereas when you build a community based on you, your story, your personality, even though it won't grow nearly at the rate that an educational niche down channel will, those viewers are likely to watch much more of your content. They're also likely to want to get to know you better and go back and watch your old library of videos. And in 2024, I think that is what the shift in YouTube will be to, to videos that are much more personal, where you connect with the, with the content creator instead of just coming in and taking some information away and then, and then being done with that. So I, for one, am happy to ramble on. And I appreciate you humoring me and sticking around to the end. So thanks for hanging out with me today. And we'll talk again tomorrow.